I bought a brand new PS5 Slim, and in this video, we're gonna see what happens when you put a foreign disk in it, we're gonna see what happens when you swap disk drives, and we're just gonna do some other random experiments. So we're gonna start by trying to swap the disk drives, and in case you guys don't know, the PS5 Slim is actually meant to be able to swap out disk drives very easily. So here's the situation. I have a disk drive attached to this PS5 Slim that's actually registered to this console. I have another disk drive that's registered to another PS5 Slim, and we're just gonna swap it in and see if it works or if it's actually locked to the other console. So we start by snapping this piece off, and then it's actually very easy to pull the disk drive off. You just lift it up there, pull that off, and bang. And we're just gonna go ahead and plug this one in. Snaps in right there, clicks into place. Very easy, I'll put this piece back on. Then we'll turn it on and see what happens. All right, so we're all plugged in, and guys, comment down below if you're an OG of the channel, because the OGs, they know about the foreign disk series. That's where my channel started years ago. It's been a while since I've done one, but let's go ahead and turn this thing on and just uh, see what Sony tells us. Okay, so it just pops up and says your disk drive is connected to your PS5. To use your disk drive, register it to your PS5. That was easy, I guess. Okay, well, good, good on you, Sony. They, they made it simple. You can swap in a new disk drive and it just works. You press register. Now, of course, uh, like they mentioned, you have to be connected to the internet to register your disk drive, but it looks like you can swap in any disk drive and it'll just work. Let's go ahead and move on to the foreign disk part of the video. And we got some more experiments to do later in the video. But uh, in case you guys don't know what a foreign disk video is, I basically put in just uh, a disk from any console possible and just see what the PS5 does. See if it reads it, see if it plays it. I don't know, but we're gonna start with the PS5 disc right here, which is just the standard, and you'll see kind of a, a baseline of what should happen. Cool, so there we are. Put the disc in, cues it for copy. Um, that's what we expected to happen. Let's go ahead and inject this one, and we'll kind of work our way backwards to PS4, PS3, PS2, PS1. We'll go to Xbox and all that good stuff. All right, next up we got Big Chungus for the PS4. This is my favorite game of all time. Let's go ahead and put this in. Oh yeah, I forgot, we got a big chungus map here just in case you get lost <laughs> it made some weird noises like i was trying to rip it up but you can see in the top middle of the screen it's trying to read it but just no dice at all let's go ahead and check this and move on to a ps3 game and by the way guys we do know a real ps4 game will actually work on this but we're not gonna try that we're gonna go to straight to ps3 mw2 a classic i play this on 360 all the time with my friends locally not online like the olden days oh oh okay so it recognizes it it says the disc is not supported by the PS5. Oh, it's just an infinite loop of going home. Oh, that sucks. I, I always, what I like seeing about these is that there are some consoles where it'll boot up a splash screen. It'll tell you like, it'll recognize, be like, hey, you put a PS2 disc in, you can't play that. Um, so it would, it's always cool to see a console that does that. I wish it popped up and said like, hey, it's a PS3 game, you can't play it here. Um, but you know, they don't go that far. Now, next up we got GTA uh, Vice City for the PS2, another just, Classic. Let's go ahead and see what Sony wants to do with this one. Dude, that was straight up. That, was, that took like two seconds. It was like, nah. <laughs> nah, dude, you ain't playing you ain't playing no GTA in my system. Oh, man. All right, let's try out our PS1 game. We got Tarzan. Probably gonna do the exact same thing as a PS2 where it recognizes it in about two seconds and says no thanks. Dude, it's like playing around with the PS1 game in there. It's like, meow. No, I don't. It doesn't like it. It won't even let me eject. There we go, I don't, that was a little odd. And next up we got a PSP game. We'll see if we can slot this in here. Not even just PSP, it's a Japanese PSP game. Got our <laughs> dang UMD. It actually is thin enough that it would fit in there, but it doesn't even try to pull it in. That's actually kind of funny. I did not even expect it to fit in that slot there. All right, next up we have Xbox games, but actually one more thing I want to try. This is like kind of like one of my weird experiments I want to do. I want to put a PS5 game back in, and then we're going to try to unhook the, the disk drive while it's booted up and just see what happens. So can I move a PS5 while a disk is in? I know you can't do that on a PS4, but I guess it works on a PS5. Let me flip this thing upside down and we'll try to take the disk out while it's copying and just see what happens. Or excuse me, take the disk drive out while it's copying. And let me know down below, do you guys play your PS5 upside down? Uh, I know there are some people that do. All right guys, so you can hear it spinning up and it says copying. Let me go ahead and sit there so you can see it. Yeah, so it's definitely copying. Now it's pretty simple. We just unplug this thing and see what it does. I really hope you don't brick our drive right here. Ooh, okay, it just says preparing to turn off your PS5. I guess that's a nice safety mechanism. Okay, so it's, it is unplugged. Let's go ahead and plug it back in now. Huh, that, <laughs> dude, that is a, <laughs> that's a new error message I've never seen before. Your disk drive was not removed properly. Like six months ago, I would have never expected to see a, an error like that on any console ever. But uh, yeah, when we're your disk drive, make sure you're, to first turn off your PS5, then unplug the AC power to prevent data loss, corruption, or damage to your disk drive. Okay, I, it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and make sure it still spins up and works though. It looks like it picked up where it left off, so that's good to see. I guess it's not an issue if you accidentally unplug your disk drive, not that you should be, but 
Uh, that was, I don't know, that's just kind of funny. Let's go back to our Xbox games now. Yikes. By the way, guys, don't flip your PS5 around when you have a disc in because it just gave me a nasty noise. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're going to start with our, we're going to go with our Xbox games. We've got an OG Xbox game to start with. we got Halo. This is one of those games where I feel like it might take me to a, some sort of Xbox splash screen and, and just, you know, show like a little video or something. I've seen that before on, I don't remember what console, but I've definitely seen that before. But let's just see what happens. And, oh yeah, there it is. We got Play Blu-ray Discs and DVDs. It goes under Media, and what? <laughs> to play this DVD, change the DVD region code of your PS5. I did not even know you could do this. This is a US game. I mean, it's a game, not a DVD. I mean, I guess it is a DVD. What? what? <laughs> okay. Apparently, you have five changes you can make to your DVD region code, which I guess is nice if you want to play a different region of DVDs, but I don't know, man. So many questions, but uh, all right. I'm just going to leave that as is. Maybe the 360 game will do the same. Yeah, it looks like I might do the same thing for the for MW2 for the 360. Uh, pull it up and it, yeah, it wants me to change the... You would think if it wants me to change the DVD region code, it would like tell me which region to change it to, though. Dude, I, I don't know. I'm not going to try to risk messing with that uh, change in the DVD region, though. I did, I did not even know that was a thing. All right, next up is the interesting one. We've got this Xbox One slash Xbox Series X game, Star Wars. Let's go ahead and put this in and see what happens. And then after that, we actually have a... A straight up Xbox Series X game, you know, a game that only works in the Series X, not on the Xbox One. You gotta love how Xbox makes that so confusing. This is one of those games where I would think it would maybe pop up with something, because it's... Okay, yeah, so that, that makes sense. It's an unreadable disc, because it recognizes it's a Blu-ray disc, but it's just unreadable, because it's an Xbox game. Okay, cool. All right, next up we got 2K21, which is a straight up, like I said, just a Series X game. Probably do the same thing, but we'll check. Yep, same thing. All right, let's go ahead and check that. And we'll move on to some uh, Nintendo games. So this is where things get interesting. We first up have a GameCube game, which, as you guys remember, GameCube games are very small. And, like, uh, the Wii disk drive was made in such a way that it could ac accept a small disk like this and actually direct it into the right uh, spot so it can, you know, take in a small disk. I'm not sure that the PS5 has that functionality of taking in a small disk, but m maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, this is a little scary, though. It might... Uh, might get stuck. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try it, though. I'm going to get a close-up view of this one in case it does get stuck. All right. Um... Yikes. <laughs> Dude, it did get stuck. <laughs> it pulled it in like a tiny bit, and then it just gave up, and now it thinks there's no disc in there, but there isn't. Oh, no, that's not good. Um, okay, uh, let me try to <laughs> get that out now. All right, so apparently you can twist this thing clockwise, and it should push the disc out, but I think the disc is so small it's not, it's not even catching to be pushed out, so I think we might have to go in here with some tweezers, which is scary. But let me, let me try to flash right light here first. So I'll show some b-roll here, but fortunately, uh, opening up the disc drive and pulling the disc out was not too hard. I just gotta put a bunch of screws back together, but the good thing is here, it's modular. I just took the disc drive right off and took everything apart very easily. Uh, not too difficult at all, but uh, yeah, super sketch. All right, guys, well, moving on to the next game. Now that I've, I'm done screwing up my disk drive, hopefully it still works, but let's go ahead and go with Mario Kart Wii, an absolute classic. See what this does inside of the disk drive. I mean, based on what I saw earlier with the Xbox 360 and Xbox games, I, I feel like it might want me to change my DVD region. Um, oh, and here we go. Got another message about my disk drive being messed up. Uh, let's just uh, see what this game does, though. Oh, huh. Interesting, this one's just straight up unreadable. And then next up, we'll go to a Wii U game. We've got Lego City Undercover, an absolute classic. No, it's not. Uh, let's see what this does. I believe, I don't, Wii U discs are not Blu-ray, right? They're, they're, a, they're a weird coding, but they're not. My disk drive is like pulling discs in slow now. I don't know if it's because it's not a PS5 game or because I messed it up, but um, this is my PS5 Slim, so don't worry. I'm not giving this, I'm not selling this to anybody. This is my PS5 Slim that I'm screwing up. Now let's see if this Wii U disc does here. <laughs> sure is trying really hard. It spins up, spits it back out, pulls it back in, spins it up, spits it back. <laughs> it's just not even doing anything. This is actually, okay, most of the other games at least told me something eventually. This one just, yeah, it's like, that just came out weird. Now, let me try my PS5 game again and make sure it's just, I bet a Wii U, guess, I bet a Wii U disc is just a different thickness, so it's just, yeah, that's smooth. Okay, so it was just the, the Wii U disc is not quite the right thickness, so it uh, spits it out a little odd. But next up, we got some, Kind of some mystery games, and uh, yeah, let's move on to those. So we have some movies, PC games, Sega Dreamcast, that sort of thing. Let's start out with The Grinch for Sega Dreamcast. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Dreamcast games, or maybe it was, was it Dreamcast games? I think it's Dreamcast games. When you put them in, if your console can read music, it'll, like music CDs, it'll pull up the music and play the soundtrack from your Dreamcast game. So I don't think the PS5 can read uh, CDs like that, but let's, let's see. 
Yeah, this one's making some weird noises, not showing anything. And you know, the thing I didn't do, I should probably put a <laughs> my PS5 game back in there and make sure the disk drive is working at all after I did all that work on my disk drive to pull the, the GameCube disk out. So let me put Spider-Man back in and make sure it at least tries to copy the game. Okay, cool. It is copying, so I didn't break the disk drive. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and move on to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 next. I do want to point out something that's, that I've been noticing on the PS5 Slim disk drive. I've noticed this on both consoles I have, and I've noticed this before I started messing with the drive, but like, the disc is tilted downward when you eject it, which is like not a big deal, but just strange. We haven't had much luck with the last few discs. Dis, discs. So let's see what this does. Oh, dude, that is a flashback. I bought this, I guess, from the. I can't even say that word anymore. Scholastic. Scholastic Book Fair. You guys remember that, like in elementary school or whatever? Back in early 2000s, that's what we had this, the Scholastic Book Fair. And I, did, I didn't buy books. I bought PC games like this. All right. Uh, Unread unreadable disc, can't recognize the disc, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we'll check that. Next up, <laughs> dude, this one's gonna be funny. We have this iCarly Complete Season uh, DVD that I found inside of an Xbox 360. I, I think it was a 360. This one should just read up as a DVD, but let's, well, let's, uh, let's verify. Okay, there it is. And will it load up? Hey, there we go, it is loading up. That's pretty sweet. I uh, didn't even know that disc worked, but all right, we'll check that one and move on to the next one. Next up, I have a Blu-ray, which I know the Blu-ray is going to work. I'm going to try to 4K, um, which I know will work as well, but I just want to verify because I, I haven't put a 4K in a, I haven't put a 4K Blu-ray in a PS5 Slim yet, so let's just verify it works. Yeah, there it goes. It even recognizes what the, what the disc is. Now, last but not least, I have a, an absolute classic. I have not only, and is it, is it an HD DVD, but it's Billy Madison, one of the uh, best movies of all time. It, it is pretty funny. I, would, I wouldn't call it a best movie of all time, but let's go ahead and put this in and See what it does. I hope the PS5 shreds it to bits. Wouldn't that be hilarious? You know what? I actually have, <laughs> this is funny, but I have an HD DVD player just sitting over here. I can't plug it into my PS5. I mean, I guess I could, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything. I'm mean, just trying to read it. No, I just stopped. <laughs> All right, so that's the last game. There was, there was one more experiment I want to try, and I was debating whether I wanted to try this or not, but in my video yesterday when I bought this PS5, I made a uh, basically a, a comment in that video and said, should I try taking off the disk drive while it's either updating or registering and seeing if it bricks something? I don't really want to try that because I don't want to brick my disk drive or my console, but dude, let's let's do it. All right, so I got to turn this thing off first and then actually, I wonder if you get hot swap the disk. No, you can't hot swap it because it'll turn it off automatically when I take the disk drive out. So let's just turn this thing off, swap the disk drive, try to register it. And while it's registering, I'm going to pull the plug and just See what happens, oh my gosh. I'm gonna destroy two PS5s doing this. All right, let me unplug this power. Let's go ahead and remove this disk drive, which is from my other PS5 so I bought just so I could do these experiments. And then we'll put this drive in. All right, new disk drive is in place. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. All right, so we have the screen again where it says your disk drive is connected, but we need to register it. So I think as soon as I press okay, it'll start registering and I should pull the plug. Yep, there we go. All right, that was not quite as bad as I thought it would be. It just kind of turned back off. As you saw, I pulled the plug right as it was registering. Now let's go ahead and plug it back in, turn the console back on and see what it does. All right, so it just gives me a warning that says your disk drive wasn't removed properly, just a standard thing. But let's see if it lets me register it. Wait, did we just figure out a workaround for the disk drive? Cause that definitely did not finish registering it and, and oh no, no, there it is. Okay, now it pops up, says I can't use it. Why, why did it not tell me that immediately? All right, we'll restart this and see if we can register the disk drive now. All right, so we got the registering screen. Let's go ahead and see if it actually completes this time. There it goes. All right, so it, <laughs> it looks like it completed this time. Let me go ahead and put a disk in to just verify it works. Yep, there it goes. It is copying the game. So props to Sony. It looks like they made this thing foolproof. You can't really break it. I mean, I don't want to go that far, but of my experiments that seem to pass all the, all the tests here, uh, it didn't quite pass the foreign disk test. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the blast to the past. And I'll see you next time.